Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. This is our fourth day in Skardu, so I can't wait to share this vlog with all of you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you already haven't done so. And if you have, thank you so much. So stay tuned to see what today holds in Skardu. Yesterday, Mogambi and I had a very lazy day. Fuzzy went rock climbing with a guide, but we just took it easy. We relaxed at the hotel. Uh, we were planning to go shopping, but majority of the people here are Shia Muslims. So they were celebrating Eid yesterday. So most of the shops were closed. The restaurants and the bakeries and all that were open, but the rest of the shopping um, stores were all closed. So we might go shopping today, I don't know, but I'll definitely take you guys along with me. At night, we did go to an excellent chicken tikka place. So I will take you guys there today because we're gonna go have chicken karhai there. Look at her, she's so crazy. Tell them what you did yesterday. I conquered Mas Masur Rock. She went to Masur Rock, which was crazy. She is burnt all the way up to here because she had a t-shirt on. She's completely burnt. She was exhausted last night, but she still went to this rock. I did it. Well, exactly. Gambi and I did not go, of course. Exactly. We have no interest in that. We had a whole day full. We had planned a full day of shopping, but due to the Eid, it was closed. So we might go shopping today. Who knows? I'll take you guys along with me. First, let's go for breakfast, which is right over there. So let's walk to breakfast. It is slightly chilly here to, uh, this morning. It rained this morning. So I've just had a little turtleneck and a vest on. Probably we'll take it off later on because later on during the day, it does get pretty hot here. But right now it's a little chilly. So this is why I'm dressed like this. And again, Mogambi blow dried my hair. Look at this. I told her I, be, I should become a hair model. Okay, we, we are at breakfast. I absolutely love this fresh apricot juice. Mm. And this is what we're having today. This I call Bedan Jokimo. It's like scrambled eggs with tomato, green chilies, onions. They have this. Um, these are chickpeas and the paratha. Yesterday they had a really, really yummy potato bhaji here that we had, which was delicious. Should but today enjoying this. this go? They I have shown that you guys before. The literacy rate here is 90%. So any of you guys even thinking that we're gonna have a difficult time communicating with people here, majority of the people do speak English here. So you will have no problems at all communicating with anybody here. And they're so sweet. They're so understanding, so respectful. Definitely make a visit out to Pakistan and see all of this for yourselves. I am gonna go enjoy my breakfast. I will talk to you guys later. Okay, I am heading out to go shopping right now. So as soon as I get back, I will show you everything that I bought um, during the day. It's super, super, well, in the morning, it's not super cold, but it's kind of cold. So that's why I had the other outfit on. But right now to go to the bazaar, this is what I'm wearing. Check this out. How totally cute is this? Totally ethnic. <laughs> so heading out to the bazaar, I will talk to you guys at the bazaar. And when I get back and we're gonna go have some yummy, yummy chat. This cute store, which has Coke in a bottle. Check this out. I'm gonna show you the store. It's like a little bakery, it's a general store. But they had the Coke in the bottle, which is in here. I haven't found this in a while, so I'm gonna go enjoy this. Guys, look at this. Coke in a bottle. And it has horse riding on it. Uh, she was just asking me if we have Coke in a bottle over there. Yes, we do, but we get it from Mexico. So the taste is completely different. So I'm enjoying this in the bazaar in Skar. Of course, when you're out shopping, you have to have some chaat. So we are stopping at this street vendor right here. We're testing it out to see how it is. He has these cute silver little plates that I'll show you guys, but waiting for him to make the chaat for us. So I'll show you when he's making it. Hey guys, I'm gonna record this quickly because she's holding my phone to record it. Look at this chaat. It is absolutely delicious. That chaat was delicious guys we're packing one for my sister right here because she's at home so she's gonna if she doesn't eat that i will definitely eat it it was delicious it's spicy it was sour perfect 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 chaat anybody i showed you guys their name if you're in this area check him out yes we are back in hunza i'm sure this you guys recognize this background um there, it was a reason why that we came back here so i'll go more into that in this vlog okay uh, our original plan because my sister is uh, gone to fairy meadows she's doing that whole thing um mogambi and i didn't want to do that i don't enjoy hiking but she loves it so she is off to fairy meadows so we had gone to gilgit original plan was that mogambi and i would go and spend some time in gilgit look around there uh we did go to gilgit um 
it's a bit more of a city life over there and I enjoy more of a quieter life. So we decided that we would come back to Hunza and stay in Hunza, which is about only an hour and a half from Gilgit. So yesterday we were in Gilgit, we looked around and everything, but decided not to stay the night over there and drive back to Hunza and stay the nights because my sister has gone to Fairy Meadows for two nights. So we'll be in Hunza for two nights. I absolutely, I can't even tell you guys how much I'm in love with Hunza. The people here, the place here, the food here, everything about this town is amazing. It is so beautiful. The people are so respectful. They're so kind. I can't emphasize enough that if you are visiting Pakistan, definitely make a trip out to Hunza. Guys, last time I was in Hunza, I didn't show you guys the main market. This entire street, all the way from up, all the way down this way, all the way down is their main market. They have so much stuff here. Uh, in Hunza, they are known for their apricots. So they have apricot oil, they have apricot jam, so many different things here that you can purchase. And such colorful clothes I will show you. The hat that I wore last time is from Hunza. You can get those here. The price range is anywhere from about five to 600 rupees. There are shawls here and those vary as well. If you like, um, if you want the real shawls in real wool, they do go up between 6,000 to 8,000. But if you're willing to have just a normal one, that's about 1,500 rupees. So keep that in mind when you're shopping over here. Right now we are in a store here. It's called North Gems and Handicrafts. Beautiful looking store. Look at these rugs that they have behind me. Look at how colorful. These are all hand knotted rugs. So keep that in mind as well when you purchase a rug from here. They have everything. They have the jewelry, they have clothing, they have handicrafts, and they have the rugs. I'll show you around the store. This is their handicraft section right over here. And you can see they have all of these purses. These are the hats that I was telling you guys about. And these are all the clothing that they have. Check this out. Very colorful stuff. Like I mentioned to you guys, they do have a large selection of jewelry as well. This is some of their jewelry over here. And check these out. Look at all of this. How gorgeous are these? I'm going to show you guys one of them. This is what they look like. I'm not going to try it on, but look at that. This is some more of their jewelry. They do have loose gems and stones that you can purchase and put it in any kind of jewelry that you prefer. So they do sell that as well. They do have clothing for children and lots of different kind of shawls. These are shawls for women right over here. Of course, if you guys want magnets as souvenirs, they have those. And these are all the men's shawls right here. You can see the difference. This is real wool right over here. So these will be higher in price, whereas some of them, uh, let me see if I can find these ones. These are all, look at that. These are their traditional men's caps right over here. This is their card right over here. This is their business card. Their address is on here and their phone number is on here for anyone interested in reaching out to them. North Gems and Handicrafts. I am purchasing uh, three shawls from here. I'm going to show you those right now. It's this one right over here. I got a white one. And a black one. And a brown one. And these are for men. So these are men's shawls that I purchased from here. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. This store is so cute. They have everything that you need. They have lots of handicrafts, different kinds of jewelry, shawls for men and women. Of course, the clothing, so much here to see. So come and check them out.
Even the background, you guys can see how colorful it is, how beautiful everything is here. It is all handmade. You can see the work, the intricate work in each of the hats, in the shawls, in the rugs. You can see all of them, the rugs are all hand woven. So keep that in mind. This is another shop in Hunza that we're in. I loved these, the kurtis right here, but unfortunately they don't have it in my size. What they do have that I absolutely loved are these backpacks. I'll show you all of them. I'll turn it around right here. Look at that. They have a variety of color. They have about, I believe, four different colors in these. These are all handmade. And look at how cute they are. These are little backpacks. You guys know I absolutely love backpacks and I love carrying the backpacks instead of pur purses. So I'm getting this one. Look at that. They have all sorts of colors. Again, all handmade. Super cute backpacks. I was just thinking about something uh, while we're passing the Altit and the Baltit Forts. Uh, the Baltit Fort is so beautiful inside. My sister did make the climb up the steep hill. But I was just wondering, like, I, I thought that, you know, it would be so nice if they had like a little golf cart service or something like that, that could take you up that fort because that one, the Baltit Fort, is a little bit of a climb. So the, uh, the Altit is not so much of a climb, so that is doable. But the Baltit does have like a kind of a steep slope that you have to go up. I wish they would have some sort of a transportation, like a golf cart or something that they would have there that can take people up there because it's such a beautiful fort inside and it is a must see. So if you can do the climb, definitely go see that. Local ice cream in Hunza, look at this. Show yours, she eats it in a cup, I eat it in a cone. Mmm. So good. This is the entire view of Hunza. Look at this guys, it's from Eagle's Nest. This area is called Eagle's Nest. We are back at our favorite restaurant in Hunza, Dabate Hunza. Uh, we are here for lunch, so the upstairs terrace, it's kind of hot there. They do have a shaded area, but it's still hot. So we decided to sit at the bottom. We're gonna have some soup, some chicken Manchurian. I do highly recommend this restaurant. Uh, they have excellent service. The food is excellent. Uh, they don't have the barbecue items and stuff until the nighttime. Most of the restaurants in this area, if you, are, if you guys are looking for like barbecue kebabs and stuff like that, those do happen like around after four o'clock or so. For lunchtime, they do have Chinese food. Uh, they do have some Pakistani dishes available as well. So definitely give this restaurant a try. Davate Hunza. Guys, this is my most favorite soup. I love their chicken corn soup. She's gonna pour it so I can show you what it looks like again. Second time having it, absolutely loved it the first time. I am gonna pour the soup for myself. I have to show you this bowl. It's huge. Look at this. Let's pour some soup. It's delicious. They have a chicken corn soup that they make upstairs but their cooking is literally like homemade. This is not a paid promotional video or anything like that. They're not sponsoring me. I highly recommend this restaurant. Check out their soup. And I put all the hot sauces in it. Let me show you all this. I was just telling Mogambi that we don't have chili sauce like this. Their chili sauce here is just completely really delicious. I think we have more of like a vinegary type of a taste, whereas theirs is actually spicy. Maybe it's the peppers, who knows. I'm gonna quickly put all the sauces in here and then try it for you guys. And of course soy sauce, a must in chicken corn soup. By the time I'm done with all of this, my soup is gonna get cold. show you and of course I have to have black pepper in it oh that's chaat masala did I just put chaat masala mm. it is what it is look at the soup it's delicious my favorite mm. so good highly recommend the chicken corn soup at Tawate Hunza and their chicken Manchurian 
I'm gonna go enjoy my lunch. I will talk to you guys later. Look at their chicken Manchurian. They do serve it with a fried rice. So when you order it, you know that the rice will come with it. This is their chicken Manchurian. Okay, this is the pendant. So from today on, I'll be wearing this one instead of this one. So we're switching it around a little bit. And this is how this pendant looks. I love it. Any, but anyone wanting this pendant, come out to Hunza to come and get it. Look at this. Guys, fresh samosas, piping hot, really delicious. Look at this. Mmm. There's a bakery called Al Karim in Hunza. Look at it, it looks like a smile. <laughs> very, very good samosas. We're heading to our favorite restaurant in Hunza again. First one was that um, Davate Hunza. Now it's the Punjab Tikka house that we're going to. So I'll show you that when I get there. I hope all of you guys enjoyed watching this part of my trip. There's many more parts coming up. So in order for you to not miss any of them, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you already haven't done so. And if you have, thank you so much. Remember, always believe in yourself, love yourself and take care of yourself. Until next time with more yummy Pakistani food. Bye guys.